the summer of 2006, I fell in with an interesting group of friends. They were all obsessed with the paranormal, and it had always been an interest of mine as well. One of the group heard of a graveyard about an hour away that was nestled into a secluded patch of forest. Naturally, being young and stupid, we decided to get some flashlights and head that way. It took hours to find it. It was unmarked and hidden, down a dirt road with nothing else for miles. We parked the car and got out. There was a path leading into the woods, with the graveyard at the very end. It was small, and only about 30 headstones in total, surrounded by trees and the forgotten. The latest death date that we could find was 1923. Once we were there, we realized we didn't know what to do next, so we were just sort of milling around looking at headstones. It was incredibly quiet, no forest noises at all. We could hear our own breathing. And suddenly, a woman started screaming. It sounded like it was right in our midst. At first, it was just short, loud scream, but then it melted into words. We could hear her begging and screaming, please, and no. We all froze. I started to stumble backwards toward the path into the car, but two of my friends started toward the woods to look for the woman. The screams ended abruptly. The hair stood up on the back of my neck. My whole body was drenched in fear and sweat. There was a feeling of anticipation, like the static before a lightning storm. Then a gunshot rang out, making all of us scream. We took off running collectively towards the car. We jumped in, slammed the doors, and we started to reverse away. But the headlights caught a woman stumbling out of the woods. My friend yelled to stop backing up and leaned out the window, calling to the woman. We started to get out of the car, but she disappeared while we were talking to her. After that, we just got the fuck out of there as fast as possible. I'd like to say we never went back and that we learned our lesson, but we went back every weekend for almost a year. A lot of weird things happened, but nothing as visual and terrifying as that first night. About five or six years ago, me and my friend had been at a birthday party of a friend. We had some moonshine, or he did, I barely drank, before we found out that we had to walk home. This was at the other side of town where we lived, so we had a very long walk ahead of us. It was around 3 a.m. when we got to the school that I went to, and after the school there was this long road thing for people who walk or ski. It's located on a mountain, not mountain, kind of a hill, but very long, and there's a forest and all. It takes about 40 minutes to walk through it. Before we enter the forest, we smell this awful, disgusting smell, and we both were like, what the fuck, dude, did you fart? But it did not smell like that at all, so we just continued to walk. This is winter in northern Norway, so it's really dark, and the trail we walked on was very dark, but there was some light lamps wherever along the trail. To the sides, it's just trees, and you can barely see the fjord. We walk, but don't talk. We were very tired and had walked for almost one hour, but something took my attention. There was really creepy whispering, like a lot of people around, like I couldn't tell what they would say, but you could hear the vowels very clearly. I first thought that it was the wind, but this was constant. It didn't stop, and the atmosphere was insanely eerie and sinister. I tried to ignore it because I thought it was just my imagination. The more we walked, the louder it got, the more violent it sounded. So we just walked. Two boys in the woods, surrounded by Dolby surround sound whispers from hell. When we get to the halfway point, there's this bench with a nice view of the fjord. But this night, nothing was nice. As we got there, we heard a woman scream in the forest, in the direction we were supposed to go. After all this mental torture by the constant whispering, I just break. I freak out and panic. I have a breakdown and start saying, what the hell is going on? And do you hear the whispering? My friend says, no, I don't hear anything. We continue to walk, and the whispers are everywhere. I was sure I was going batshit crazy. We get to the end of the forest, there's this long downhill slope. We get forced to run because of it, while trying not to fall in the snow. We run down and stop in the middle of the hill to catch our breath. We aren't and weren't very sporty, so we're just standing there catching our breath when I look at the top of the hill. I still get shivers just from writing this, but there was a woman in a white dress with black hair standing there, watching us. My blood froze completely. She just stared at us before she turned to her left, took three steps, and vanished. I have never ran so hard in my life so far. I have never been that afraid before. When we arrive back home, my friend turns to me and says, I heard the whispers too. 
My girlfriend had always told me her house was haunted. I'd always hear creaks and stuff upstairs and the occasional footstep, but I always played it off as normal house noises until one night in August of this year. We were downstairs watching TV like usual, about to go to bed, and we both got this weird feeling almost simultaneously. She gave me a weird look and I didn't think anything of it, so we just went to bed. After a few minutes of her on Twitter and me on Reddit, we put our phones down and rolled over to go to sleep. Then we both heard the words, good night, in a child's voice. Doesn't seem too strange, right? Well, considering there weren't children in the house, we both looked at each other like, why would you say good night like that? Then we realized neither of us had said it, and we left her room fairly quickly. We went downstairs to lie on the couch and watch a little TV and try to come to our senses and try to figure out where those words had come from. Then we both got this someone's watching me feeling, not like oh, that dude over there has been staring at me feeling, but something will not take their eyes off me no matter what I do feeling. So we decided it best to leave the house. We went to walk out the front door, but right as we were about to open it, we heard the child's voice again. This time it came from the balcony, right above the entryway. Clear as day, a child said, Mommy and Daddy. We looked at each other. I may or may not have screamed, and we ran to my car and decided to drive to the one place that was open in our shitty small Oregon town, Walmart. The problem was, as soon as we got in the car, we knew something had come with us, and it was pissed at us for leaving. The second we got into my Honda, there was nothing but the feeling of hate instilled into both of us for no reason whatsoever. Whatever it was filled that car with hate. It's now about 4 a.m., and I have to be at work in five hours, so we decided to go back to her house and try to get some sleep and see what happens. We walk into the front door and nothing but quiet. We walk up the stairs, turn right, and suddenly it sounds like a dog is growling from her upstairs bathroom. It takes me a second though because I grew up with dogs and all I could think was that it was just mine and they're being weird. Five seconds later I realize I'm at her house and no dog has ever sent Paul in there. Something was fucking growling at me and I had no idea what. At this point, I'm fucking pissed at whatever is happening because I'm tired and need to sleep for work. So I come up with this brilliant plan of talking shit to whatever is causing all these problems. The only thing that sticks out at this point is me yelling, if you're so pissed, do something about it. Right after that, I feel something pull my shirt. I turn around thinking my girlfriend is playing some unfunny joke on me, but no. She was still downstairs. Something pulled my shirt. After that, I decided it was time to leave for the night. At 6 a.m., we get in my car and drive to my mom's house. That car ride was much less hate-filled, and all the bad feelings were gone for a while. I went to work when my girlfriend slept at my mom's place, and when I got off, we went back to her house to check things. Everything seemed fine except for one picture of us she had hanging on her wall was knocked to the ground like something out of a fucking horror movie. But she was too exhausted to care about my safety at that point, and I was so tired I was willing to let whatever was there to kill me just so I could get some rest. Two weeks later, we moved out and haven't had any problems since. I never believed in the paranormal at all until this happened. I still question it. My brain thinks there has to be a logical explanation to what happened, and I'm sure there is, but I know she believes, and a piece of me believes that there's something else in that house. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you have a terrifying paranormal story that you'd like to see in one of my videos, please send me an email at docket360 at gmail.com. The link is in the description.